Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use for loop in robot framework test automation. Repeating some actions several times is quite a common need in test automation. With robot framework test libraries, you can have any kind of loop constructors. And most of the times, loops should be implemented in them. Robot Framework also has its own for loop syntax, which is very useful. For example, when there is a need to repeat keywords from different libraries. For loops can be used with both test cases and user keywords. Except for really simple cases, user keywords are better because they hide the complexity introduced by for loops. When using for loops, you can use various syntaxes like normal for loop, nested for loops, using several loop variables, for in range loop, and other custom for loops. In this example, I will explain how to use for in range loop summary. When using for in range loop, you can use various techniques. Let's see the first test case. Only upper limit. Let's say you want to loop over a value from 0 to 5. So in the for loop syntax, you can use for index in range. This is the upper limit. And it starts with 0. So last number should be n minus 1. So 6 minus 1 is 5. And uh, log the number. Please remember that when using robot framework, before the 4, you need to put the colon. So this will be used as a for loop syntax. Second one is start and end. In this example, we loop value from 1 to 6. So the last number should be 7. So for index in range 1 to 7. And second line is log the index. The third test case is start and given step. So the documentation is loops over value 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This means when we run the for loop, we step over by value 2. So for index in range 0 to 11 because n minus 1 last number is 10 and step is 2. We use the keyword log to log the number. Next one is start and negative step. This is using the backward in for loop. So from large number to small number in the order of degrees. Loops over values 8, 6, 4, 2. So when using the negative value, we put the higher number as a starting point and as the uh, ending point we put the small number. For index in range 10 0 minus 2 log index this will log 
0.8642 Now let's look at the RC matrix. For RC matrix, we can use some variable and use the variable in the for loop. This is very useful. Let's say if you have a condition for any given variable, if the variable name or variable value equals to any number, you can exit for loop. So we define a variable, name it var equal to set variable zero. And set variable is a keyword used for assigning a value to a variable. So for var, we set zero for index in range one to one zero one. So basically we'll loop from one to one hundred. And var equal to evaluate var plus index and log sum is var. So this means we loop the number from one to one hundred and we add the var with index. This means it will sum the number from 1 to 100 and log the final number. So we can also log the value of var. So let's insert a row and for here let's add log and let's copy paste the var variable var. Now let's save it. And last one is float parameters. In Python we can use the float as an increment. Let's say in this test case loops or values 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So in range 0 to 1.1 and increment is 0 0.2 and we log the number. In this project we have multiple test suites and test cases. So in order to run only the for loop suite I have added a tag for each test case as for in range. Now let's run the test suite for loop copy and click on the for loop suite click on the run. So select only run tests with these tags for in range. So let's paste the tag. Now click on start. Since the loop runs very fast, all six test cases passed and six critical tests, six passed, no failure. We did not do any assertion uh, because I was going to demonstrate how for loop works in robot framework test automation. So now let's look at the log. So we can click on the log and for loop suite. First is only upper limit. So in this upper limit, we only defined for in range and upper limit. So for in range six. So it logged number zero to five. Zero is the beginning and five is the last number. Second case, start and end. In this test case for four in range, we define start and end. So in this test case, the number is looping over one through six. Next one is start and given step. So step is the increment number. In the index in range, zero, 11, two is increment. Now let's look at the log. First number, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 
Next test case is start and negative step. So this is starting point 10, this is the ending point 0, and this is minus 2. So 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. The test is arithmetic. In the arithmetic, we set a variable named var equal to 0 for index in range 1 to 101. So it looped from 1 to 100. And last number is uh, sum is var because sum is 5050. The last test case is float parameters. So as explained in Python robot framework test automation, we can use float numbers or decimal numbers as an increment. So for 0 to 1.1, 1 .1, increment is 0 0.2. So first is 0 0.0, 0 0.2, 4, 6, 8, 1. And for each iteration, the keyword log logged the index number. So as you see on the log file, we can effectively use for in range in robot framework test automation to run any keyword. In this test case, to make the test cases simple, I just used the keyword log. So that means the keyword log is used multiple times within the loop range. The syntax for using for in range is for index in range, lower limit, upper limit, and the increment. Let's look at the start and given step. So for index in range, lower limit, upper limit, and increment, and this line is keyword. If you look at the screen, under 4, there is a gray line. This cell is grayed out. It means everything under this will belong to the for loop. And if we don't include anything under the for loop, let's look at the arithmetic test case. In this test case, we assign a value 0 to var. We loop through from 1 to 100 and sum all the variables. Once the for loop is over, we log the sum. So this means the log will be executed after the for loop is over. If you have any questions, you can visit robotframework.org website or for written examples, please visit www.seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.